Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm trying these. 100 colour watercolour brush tip pens. And as the name suggests, it has a brush liner on one end and a fine liner on the other end. Like all new art supplies when you first get them, the first thing you want to do is try them out and do a colour swatch just to see how they come out and how they feel. The colours went down really well and matched the colour on the lid pretty closely and there's a nice selection of colours too. So the swatch is done and on normal paper it looks like a cross between alcohol markers and felted pens. So close to what I was expecting. But what about the watercolour part? I tried a few colours and I have to say before even trying a wash, these are the best brush tips I've ever used. They do mix with water, better with the darker colours, but it does work. I'm not sure if they're watercolour or just water soluble inks, but you can use water to spread them about a bit. So before I do a serious piece, I want to do a small practice and get used to the pens. I decided to go for a Van Gogh Starry Night piece and it was a thoroughly pleasing experience. The colours went down perfectly and the brush tips were top notch. I can't fault them at all. Even blending with a watercolour brush worked really well. I was expecting a complete mess, but it actually turned out quite good. To finish off, I used a white gel pen and I think it turned out okay. Now for the real challenge. Because this is a review of the pens, I decided I would pre-draw the base image. I went with The Girl with the Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer. It's a famous painting and easy to recognise. At first I wasn't sure there was enough contrast in the selection of blues, but there are also greys that can be overlaid to get darker shades, which is a nice touch. Doing the hanging part of the headdress really made me admire the brush tips on these pens. They're so comfortable and it makes colouring as easy as anything. If you look up the painting on a search engine, you'll see lots of variations in colour. Some have got brown clothes, some have got green clothes. The one I used as a reference 
had brown. On this part I did find there were a lot of paper rubbings, but I guess that's more of an issue of rubbing the pens against wet paper than the pens themselves. For the face, I did find there was a limited selection of the flesh tones and had to be very careful with the colours I used. Because they are light colours, they do show the overlaps in brush strokes quite a lot more than the dark colours, which was a bit of an issue. You can see this below the eye on the left. But slowly, layer by layer, the skin did start to work. Maybe it's just a happy accident, but I'm okay with that. In the end, I know it's not perfect, but felt it pens, I'm really happy with how this turned out, and I'm by no means a felt it pen expert. Not since I was five. So would I recommend these? Definitely. Unfortunately, they are unbranded, but they could easily compete with the big boys like Copic and Promarker. If you want to check these out yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. But for £20 or $24, I think these are well worth the spend. Anyway, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, do the stuff down here, and I'll see you next time.